All right, so here we have the Intel Celeron G1820. I'm going to quickly delid this item. Um, as you can see, you have a dot and an arrow on this side. This shows that this is where the chips are actually gonna be down the side here, where all the capacitors are gonna be. So we wanna take and put that away. So as you can see here, they'll be on this side. They're going to go on the vice side like so. You want to line it up to where it's as close to the top and as flat as possible. So put it like that. You're going to have this edge just sitting on the IHS, the integrated heat spreader for those that don't know what that is. You're going to tighten it down just a tiny bit to get it in place right now. Trying to get it level flush on both sides the way it's as even as possible you don't want it to be high on one side low on the other just get it tightened down and set I'm going to take a rag and actually place it underneath here just in case the actual CPU goes anywhere then it will not actually fall down and crack it'll be supported if it comes down Next thing I'll do is just lay this over an edge right here and just to keep it from flying up at the same time. Now once you have this set, remember IHS on this side is going to be in the vise. This side the PCB is going to sit as flat as possible. Then you're just going to take and slowly tighten. Try and watch the PCB. Make sure that it doesn't crack. As you can see, it gets a little tough if you don't have a good uh, good long vise. I don't know why the block's sliding. But as you can hear, it just released right there. You can actually see the PCB come up right there and boom, completely delitted. Just like that, you're completely done. Your IHS is off and you are ready to roll. Now all you're going to do is take a credit card and you're going to clean around here, get all of, sorry, you're going to clean around here, get all of the epoxy off that was on there. You can remove all of the old tim or thermal material and then you can use uh, new thermal material or as suggested you can use like Cool Laboratory Liquid Ultra or Cool Laboratory Liquid Pro and put it in between there and on the IHS and then once you're done, you should be able to reduce your temperatures. Um, this one, I did not actually test temperatures on. This was a test CPU just to see if the motherboard worked. And as you can see, in three minutes and 10 seconds, we are complete and have a nice day.